Welcome all of you. We will have a discussion about benzene rearrangement in this video. So benzene rearrangement is nothing but as it catalyzed intramolecular rearrangement of N N dash diaryl hydrazine into benzene derivative. The simple reaction is given here. Hydrazo benzene is converted into benzene and the isomeric form of the benzene on using H plus ions mediated reaction simply called benzene rearrangement. So benzene is nothing but 4 comma 4 dash by anine or otherwise 1 1 comma by phenyl 4 4 comma diamine diamine. So it is an aromatic amine. Simply uh, we know that our uh, anilin here, anilin is in a dimeric form, is simply called as a benzidine. So, this is prepared from the nitrobenzene. The reaction is given here. Nitrobenzene on reduction gives you using our zinc sodium hydroxide gives you a hydrozobenzene or N N dash diphenyl hydrazine. So, this is C6HYNH NH C6. So general reaction here is product is our starting element hydrozobenzene for this benzene rearrangement. So this uh, hydrozobenzene on H plus ions mediated this reaction result into the benzene here. So benzene is an almost uh, yellowish color. Sometimes some some literature reports that it is a grayish yellow and reddish gray. Or sometimes a recrystallized product is a white crystalline powder. Having a melting point is ranging from 122 to 125 degrees Celsius, but it is an highly toxic compound. So the general mechanism given here: hydrozobenzene is taken into consideration. Add the mineral acids, H plus ions, uric acid, hydrochloric acid, uh, anything you can take it. Here H plus ions uh, says that about the mineral acids. So two H plus ions here. So addition of H plus ions. Either just you consider that this bond. Here one H plus, here one H plus ions. There is a formation of the transition state come over here. Upon our partial hydrolysis of this particular compound. So our H plus ions is added here so that nitrogen valency is gained so that N plus N plus. So here the partial heterolysis takes place. This bond is broken. This come over here, make it into double bond, and this bond is shifted to here, and this bond to this bond. This is forming our carbon-carbon uh, bond. And during this reaction, nitrogen is delta positive and our benzene ring is delta negative in nature. So upon doing this one, this mechanism is called a concerted mechanism reported by Michael Deva. Why it is considered a mechanism means, concerted means bond forming and breaking taking place in a single state. That is called concerted. So breaking of N n bond the nitrogen nitrogen bond is breaking so that our formation of our carbon carbon bond is taking place here so that this mechanism is a concerted mechanism so i'm repeating here the bond formation here and bond breaking here so this bond for breaking and formation of the bond taking place in a single step is simply known as concerted mechanism so once uh, this uh, rearrangement is taking place here to form our quinone like uh, structure and removal of the catalyst H plus ions here removal of the mineral acid result into the benzene which is simply called 4 4 comma by aniline. I'm repeating the mechanism here hydrozobenzene taking up our um, mineral acids formation of this transition state during the transition state partial electrolysis resulting into the breaking of nitrogen nitrogen bond and formation of the carbon carbon and followed by removal of mineral acid result into the benzene as an and uh, benzene rearrangement reaction is a 
intramolecular rearrangement. Why it is intramolecular rearrangement? Intramolecular means it has been observed through the crossover experiment. What is crossover experiment means? I am taking a compound A and compound B. Compound A is a methoxy derivative of hydrozone. Compound B is an ethoxy derivative of hydrozone. I am doing the uh, H plus ion mediated this reaction. That is addition of this H plus ion result into the products like two products are obtained. Upon verifying the product, the product, the benzidine which carries the methoxy group and ethoxy group separately as per the so there will not be ethoxy is substituted to either A or methoxy is substituted to so which reveals that the no crossover products indicates the compound the mechanism is an benzidine mechanism is an intramolecular rearrangement reaction so within a molecule there will be a transformation takes place by breaking this nitrogen nitrogen bond by forming a carbon carbon so that this uh, rearrangement reaction is an intramolecular rearrangement reaction. It has been proved through the um, crossover experiments. And now we are coming to the point of uh, uses and drawbacks in this slide. So it is used uh, uh, largely for the dyes and cloths and uh, paper industries and leather industries. And and nowadays also we are pointing out this in a reduction of blood in whether it is in a urine or in stool. This is the procedure is given here. If you are uh, the blood loss is taking place whether it may be in urine or stool, the presence of the blood can be detected using this benzidine test. Prepare the benzidine solution, 1% uh, solution of benzidine in acetic acid and take a 2 ml of uh, urine in test tube and add 2 ml of 1% benzene solution in acetic acid shake it well add 2 ml of hydrogen peroxide mix it well and uh, observe the changes so the color change indicates that our green or blue coloration which shows that there is a presence of blood in urine and so which is called our hematuria uh, responsible to know about the uh, our benzene application, the presence of uh, benzene application in the our uh, biological systems. That's a, a biochemical way of analysis. The applications of benzene also we can find out. The main drawback of this one is human carcinogenic. So there's a cancer causing substances. And uh, long time exposure of this benzidine result in the increased risk of the bladder cancer. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, subscribe it, and share it for more number of videos. Thank you. Thank you again.